My name's John. Welcome to the second in a series of videos reviewing this, the Artec 260 AXT Digital TIG Welder. In this video, I'm going to power the welder up and go through the various settings and the various menus that are contained on the digital front panel of the welder. I think what I'll do to try and go through it, I'll probably go through the manual. The manual is quite comprehensive and what I intend doing is each section in the manual I'll go through the front panel as the manual explains it then you can possibly look at the manual as well as watch the video and you'll be able to see exactly where I'm coming from. As well as going through the menus and talking about the welder I'll also do some arc shots to break it up so if I talk about a certain aspect of it I'll try and do a little bit of welding to show what a particular part of the menu does. Right, we'll pull the welder up. The first thing you notice is all the lights turn red. It goes through a test sequence just to show everything's working. The second thing you notice is there's no cooling fan noise. This new generation of welders is fan on demand. The fan doesn't start to run until you actually start welding. When you stop welding, it continues to run for roughly a minute just to cool the welder down. When you initially turn the welder on, if you come down to this panel here, this panel, it starts off on high frequency TIG, lift TIG, or stick weld. 99 times out of 100, you're going to high frequency TIG. You would use lift TIG if you are welding on a car and you didn't want any high frequency interfering with possibly an ECU or an electronic component, and obviously stick welding is for stick welding, which we will be doing later on in the series. You simply press a button, right, and you come up to the next, next panel here, it defaults to normal setup. In normal setup, you can adjust every possible parameter on the welder. Up slopes, down slopes, amperages, gas flows, pulses, there's a vast array of adjustments available on the welder. What the welder also has, it's got two things here. One's called AC Easy Setup, and that one is DC Easy Setup. What this does is, AC Easy Setup, it sets the welder up so it will weld aluminium in most situations. It defaults to an advanced square wave. Your pulse has turned off. We'll be using this control here, 2T, 4T or pedal, I'll be using the pedal, so we'll put that on the pedal. The only other adjustment you've got is your amperage. That's your control there for your amperage. If you press it and turn it, it goes fast. It goes from 5 amps all the way up to 260 amps. This will allow you to weld aluminium in most situations. Go down to DC easy setup, that's exactly the same the welder is now set up to weld steel, stainless steel. Once again, the only thing you can adjust is your welding amps. Once again, from 5 all the way up to 260. And once again, we're in 2T, 4T. 2T, 4T, we want pedal. Your pulse is turned off and it's already moved on to DC for you. So to recap, you start off high frequency TIG, normal setup, AC easy and DC easy. Across here, 2T, 4T and pedal. So we're going to go into AC, easy setup, pedal. So I'm using a WP9 torch, so I want no more than 125 amps. I'll do some simple welds on some flat sheet aluminium just to show you what it welds like at the basic factory settings. This is a simple lap joint in aluminium. I haven't cleaned the aluminium, all I've done is remove the cellophane cover from it and we'll let the AC arc do the cleaning.
That's the weld we've just done on the AC Easy Setup. You can see the little light grey area each side of the weld. That's where the AC arc has cleaned the aluminium. This aluminium wasn't cleaned prior to welding. It's not dirty, but it has got an aluminium oxide of coat on it. All aluminium has. The aluminium oxide coating melts at a much higher temperature than the base metal. That's why you need the AC to break through it. I think you'll agree that's not a bad weld. That's the sort of result you can expect on aluminium on the factory default AC easy setup. We'll go through fine tuning the weld that in the next video, showing you how I would set it up to do that particular job and the difference it makes when you set the welder up for each particular job. Right now we're going to do some DC welding on some metal steel plate. So you need to go to DC still on pedal. The only option we've got for adjustment is the amperage. Amperage one's lit up there. Once again it goes from 5 all the way up to 260. We want about 150 amps. Because I'm still using a WP9 torch. Right so we're on high frequency TIG. DC easy setup. 150 amps. DC on there, it's on the pedal and the pulsar is turned off. Everything else is preset for you. We'll do some welds and see what sort of results we'll get on DC. I think you'll agree if I straight out of the box, those are decent welds. Bear in mind that I'm not a welder. In the next video, we'll start going into the normal setup where we're going to adjust all the various parameters on the machine itself. I'll go through the menus, I'll go through the instruction book and the menus at the same time, and I'll do lots of welding shots in between, like throw the helmet arc shots in between the, the talking about the display screen. Hi, my name's John. Welcome to the second in a series of videos reviewing this, the Arctic. Arctic, you bell end. Hi. Hi, my name's John. Welcome to the second in a series of videos introducing the Arctic 260 EXT. Bollocks, man.